These are the top three best characters that you can get in Genshin Impact. The number three slot goes to Nahida. Nahida is an excellent Dendro character and she just does so much. She's so easy to use, so easy to build that it's almost impossible for you to mess up. Not to mention, you can use any type of elemental mastery weapon and you will have a strong Nahida. All you need is some elemental mastery and your, and your Nahida is going to be pretty powerful. She allows you to do so much sub DPS damage and just applies Dendro so often that it's almost so hard for you to skip out on getting Nahida. Her elemental burst is probably one of the best in the game in terms of how much she helps buff your character. If I had to pick from any Dendro character to be in my team, it had Nahida would be my number one choice. The second spot goes to none other than Furina. Purina, of course, being another quote-unquote Archon, she is just so, so strong, and I wouldn't have any other Archon. She just absolutely destroys everything with her sub-DPS damage. Or she can also heal, by the way, and she has a powerful, powerful elemental burst in which she buffs your whole team. This is just such an easy-to-build character, thanks to building off of max HP and buffing your entire team just is it's just too powerful in any team and she would perform admirably and thanks to her being hydro she is just so easy to put into any team I mean every team needs a hydro character and that is why she would take the number two spot and for the last slot I have to give it to Nivelle but I also want to give an honorable mention to Arlecchino. Arlecchino is a character that just deals so much damage and she just has to be one of the best characters in the game. She is so easy to build, her artifact sets are so easy to come by making gladiators an excellent choice but her main in slot also does her pretty well. You can have a minimal amount of investment into Arlecchino and she'd still hit like a truck. Heck I played Arlecchino with a one star weapon and still cleared the Spiral Abyss with 36 stars, here's the video. And her being a pyro character is also really valuable because that means it can do both melt as well as vaporize as a react. And now we're going to be talking about Nivellet who takes the number one spot for me personally, of course. Now Nivellet obviously takes the number one spot thanks to his hydro, thanks to his hydro pump. And it just does so much damage and is so easy to use that it is almost impossible for you to deal low amount of damage. Not to mention that he is a Hydro character making him really valuable for a lot of excellent reactions, especially with Dendro or with every single reaction in the game. It's just, he's just so good and he deals a ridiculous amount of damage. Not to mention he is really easy to build and his artifact set straight up gives him so much crit rate it is ridiculous. Okay, but realistically we know who the real best character is. It's none other than our animal boy, Aida Kaza. Come on, he's just, he is the best of all time. <laughs> Let's be real. Not because I'm just glazing, okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot of it. But he's just so good. First of all, viridescent, overpowered. Second of all, you don't need that many talents to make him really good, even though he's good with talents. And then the fact that he can just give you so much damage bonus for absolutely free whilst using viridescent, whilst having a free-to-play weapon so easy to access, elemental mastery straight off the bat. He, he's just so good. And if you have a little bit of a better weapon, you've got the Zephus Moon Knight, boom, energy recharge for the entire team. So good. He is he's the best character. Let's be real. He's an animal character. That should be enough. His first constellation gives him another E skill. It's just it's just a lot. And yeah, he, he, he is the true um, animal archon. I'm sorry, Mr. Venti. But yeah, that's it. Uh, he's the one. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I want to make a little bit of a preface that, hey, these are characters from my choosing. So it's very subjective. What is quote unquote the best character? These are just my personal opinions. That is that. Anyways, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments who you think is the best character or your opinion, obviously. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you. Bye.